Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to lap valves the quick method using a hand drill, a piece of fuel hose, an exhaust stud, and some Permtex valve grinding compound. This can be sourced at your local parts store for next to nothing. I want to see I paid like eight bucks for it. First thing you got to do is obviously have the head off. The next step is you're going to have to remove the valve spring so that you can get the valve out. And I also want to advise you to take the valve stem seal off as the friction from the valve stem turning in there and what we're fixing to do, it can burn up the valve stem seal. Fortunately, I'll be replacing them in this head. This is just for test fitting. Once you get your valve spring out with your keepers and retainer, uh, go ahead and pull your valve out. These are nice titanium valves that we're putting in. Here's the uh, Permatex uh, valve grinding compound. Well, this is actually Napa brand, but Permatex is the manufacturer of it. You're gonna spread some evenly around the seat of the valve face. Reinsert your valve into your cylinder head. And this is where it's gonna come into play the uh, piece of fuel hose with the exhaust stud. I have that on the drill. So these valves that I'm grinding here, the valve stem, is a little bit smaller than what I typically do with my setup here. So I had to put a little hose clamp on the end of my uh, piece of fuel hose just to kind of get the inside diameter a little bit smaller so that I could grab the valve stem itself. But once you get it on there, you're going to go in and out, like an in and out method, almost kind of like you're bouncing the valve. Don't let your fuel hose touch your valve stem still. Obviously, you're gonna have it off, but if you're doing what I'm doing here and you're gonna keep them in, you don't want it touching the valve stem seal. Go ahead and do a couple rotations there with a the drill, bouncing it back and forth. Um, as you bounce it back and forth, it's gonna allow some of that valve grinding compound to get back down into the taper of that valve seat. And you, you can hear the audible change in the noise. Uh, go ahead and wipe it up and inspect you know, what you got going on, you're basically looking for a congruency around the face of the valve and the valve seat and the cylinder head. Um, just use caution. Um, if, if you have, if you can't really make out what you have going on, take you a black Sharpie and kind of go over it and highlight <laughs> the valve seat and the face of the valve and then put your grinding compound on there and they'll just make it a little bit easier so that you can see what you got going on. So. I was happy with what we had, so I'm going to reinstall the valve spring. I'm working on the keepers here right now. Alright guys, so kind of revisiting you know, what I've already said. You're going to throw a little bit of your valve grinding compound. I found a little pocket screwdriver to work best. Keep it off of the valve stem itself. Keep it on the face, the, the seat of the valve. You don't want it getting on the valve stem itself because your valve guides that are pressed into the head, it could go in there and affect them. Um, you don't want to get that valve grinding compound up in there and it grind away your valve, valve guides. So you can see what I'm talking about, bouncing it, um, just the in and out method. You know, as, as you do this, that compound, the grid of it's kind of gonna dissipate. You're probably gonna have to do it a couple times, you know, grind it in and out a couple times, you know, pull your drill off and pull your valve out and then clean both the valve seat in the head and then the face of the valve. And then reapply it and continue on. A little bit goes a long ways. Um, and I would highly recommend going forwards and backwards with the drill. That way you don't work in a, you know, a groove in your valve seat it is, you know, possible that if you go in the same direction that you can grind a groove in your valve seat and that's not something that you want to do. So change up the direction, just be random with it. This method works great. Some people will diss it saying that it's not effective. It's far more effective than that little suction cup with a wooden dowel. I hate doing that. I, I can't stand doing that method. It takes forever. It, you never get a, a decent consistency and it's just aggravating.
So this is what I'm talking about, consistency around the valve. If you can see it here, you, you see that hazed portion where it's not shiny there on the face of the valve? That's basically where that grinding compound has been obviously grinding um, off. See that little ring around the face of it? So that's what I was talking about. But this, it works great. Man, shout out to this uh, valve spring compressor. Hands down the best valve spring compressor I've ever used. Um, as far as if you're having issues putting the keepers back in, little pocket screwdrivers go a long ways. Um, it's kind of ideal to have one that you've allowed to touch a magnet and become magnetized on the, the uh, actual screwdriver portion of it. Um, and then have one that's not magnetized. Um, having the one that's magnetized lets you get that keeper in there. Put it in position and then using the one that's non-magnetized will allow you to put it there on the face of the valve stem and hold it in position and not pull the keeper back out. So that's kind of like a little trick that I've learned. Also, if you're having an issue with it and you're sitting there fighting with it, I will say if you take a little like dollop of wheel bearing grease, you can see down here in this uh, valve there in the corner that I've already installed, you see that red stuff? That's actually wheel bearing grease. It, it works great. Um, put a little dollop there around the uh, lands where the uh, keeper seat is uh, set on the actual valve stem and it, it actually kind of like is sticky enough to hold your keepers on. So that's kind of a trick also. I know this video is kind of on the shorter end of things of all the videos that I've uploaded. I uh, wanted it to be kind of short, concise, and to the point. Hopefully you found some value. If you did find value in this video, please hit the like button. If you like this style video or you like this content, please consider subscribing. If you're one of the few people that actually made it to the end of this video, drop the word turbo down there in the comments. It just lets me know that you actually watched it through to the end. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. I really do appreciate you all watching my content. I couldn't do this without you guys. And hopefully this helps somebody. I know there's a lot of videos out there that are just out there just to get views, but I did want to contribute some. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. That being said, guys, have a great evening, great rest of your week, and I will be catching you guys on the next video coming up shortly. Bye, guys.